how I made 108,000 in two months. What's up, Say Less Fam? Back again with another one of my videos. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you have your notepad out. Make sure you're taking notes. Make sure you're learning from what I'm about to tell you so you can implement those actions in your clothing brand and your life so you can have the best results possible. Say Less Trent, co-founder of Say Less Lifestyle, checking in. Co-founded Say Less Lifestyle with my cousin, Eddie Scott, in 2020 with the motivation to inspire our generation and do more and say less. Work in silence, let your results do the talking. Click those links down below in the description if you want to build your brand to six figures. The mentorship program down below. If you want one-on-one -on -one work to grow your brand, click the link that in my description. If you want to join a group chat of other high-minded individuals and entrepreneurs, click the link in my description. If you want to learn how to build a 100K clothing brand, get my ebook for a small investment down below in the description. Also, real quick, show love to me, subscribe, like, comment, share for the YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start this off for you right here. Go ahead and show you one of the months right there. And then go ahead and show you the other month. Both of those combined equal about $108,159. So with that being said, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can do the same thing and scale and grow your brand to the six-figure level. You need $83,000 a month in order to become a million-dollar business. $54,000 is $29,000 away from a million-dollar company. I'm going to tell you exactly what we did to get to that point with our clothing brand and i hope this information will help you so the first of the first is we are running facebook ads through instagram now there's a lot of assumptions with ads there's a lot of you know questions about ads specifically i my best recommendation is for you to have at least seven different ads running and that's what we did we had seven different ads running at one time and they were different products and they were also good high quality pictures and these ads were when we would put the clothing on a on the ground take a picture of it place a white background on the picture or leave it and put a nice edit on it and go ahead and post it in the most best high quality uh, picture we can post if you are just starting your ad account i do not recommend you to go all out or spend a lot of money with ads starting off only because your ad account needs to gather information over time on who truly your target customer is and that's the key right there also we've been gathering information on our facebook ad account for the past six to eight months before we generated fifty four thousand dollars in a month Therefore, our ad account was familiar with who was buying our merchandise, who was engaging with our photos, and we would simply make a good return on our investment with ads. Now with ads, you should be seeing at least a 2.5x to 3x return on your investment to cover the cost of goods and to cover the cost of marketing. There's a lot to pay for in business. You don't want overhead costs of business to kill you. So make sure your profit margins are correct like down below if you want me to drop a video on how to place your correct profit margins so with that being said our ad account had some had some information to go along with it they knew who bought before so they'll retarget those consumers that bought from us before because a, cu a customer that has already bought from your brand is easier to obtain and maintain than to obtain a new customer Someone needs to see your brand at least seven times to truly engage with it. That's why we had seven different ads running on our account. We also had two ads running of just motivational quotes to simply boost our engagement. Also, ads were great because they helped us build social proof and our following. Now, ads are great because they get you followers and engagement to your page that you need. Those followers and will be potential customers for you. And the way you reel those customers in is through content. So that's the first way how we made $108,000 in two months is the ad account is running ads and the ad information was gathered over time. So what I would best suggest for you to do if you're just starting off with ads is to run $5 to $10 a day 
on your best three to seven posts on your page. And this is why I say master organic content. Because if you're posting constantly high valuable content and one of your posts get a large amount of likes, then there, there you have an ad. You know, just use the content that's engaging your customer that you already have. The followers that you already have. If the content you're posting are engaging them, okay, now it's time to boost a little ads on them. The second reason why, how we made $108,000 in two months is because we had a, our grand opening of our first inline store in our hometown. Now, that was a great experience. Opening a store inside of, the, inside of the mall, and I'll place a picture right here for you, a couple pictures of you know when we opened up the store, but it was a great experience, and that was a great revenue booster for our grand opening month. We generated $13,000 that month in our, from our store, and that was only 13 in 13 days. So that was great to finish off the month and give us a good revenue booster. And that was for the $54,000 month. For the $53,000 month, we just primarily went all online. We made $53,000 from our online store. We, ha we were mainly relying on ads. So we were er increasing those multiple sources within the business. Orders from the store. Orders from people online. Ads. And then our organic reach that was getting us orders also. Now, we spent $42,000 in two months on Facebook ads to amass to $108,000. So as you can see, it's about a 2.5x to 3x return on our investment. Now, there was definitely times where or days where we spent more than we made, but that's okay. You're going to have ups and down days. It's just up to you to mainly put the most money into ads on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays because that's when people are online on Instagram wanting to buy things over the weekend. I always noticed that ads converted the best for us later in the day, anywhere from 6 to 2 a.m. That's when ads converted the best for us. And when running ads, we push boost post on our Instagram. We let it run for 30 days, but we always reviewed our performance. If an ad wasn't doing so well, okay, we'll put out a new ad. We'll do something else or do something different. Change your approach if something's not working for you. And like I said, we spent $42,000 on Facebook ads. So you have to spend money to make money. But don't get discouraged if you don't have money up front to spend. That's why I say master organic content before you fully engage with ads. The grand opening of the inline store was also amazing. Because that in-person connection with your customer cre and creating that environment where they want to buy is the ultimate key. By me being inside the store and operating the store with the few team members that I had, few team members that I had, I got to connect with my customer in person. And that in-person connection is the ultimate key. As the co-founder, I'm connecting with my in-person location and getting more sales that way and boosting my conversion rate. Online, your conversion rate might be low, 1% to 2%. But in person, your conversion rate can be anywhere from 60 to 100%. When people come into the store, especially in the mall, they're already interested. They have money in their pockets. So once they come inside your store, it's up to you to get them to buy. A lot of people bought off of simply having a banner in the front of our store as you can see right here, and they bought from the message behind the brand, not specifically just, you know, just pure interest from the brand. So now another reason why we generated $108,000 two, in two months, two months is we promoted every single day on our stories, and we also dropped a new drop, which was our short set, which was our most popular product. We dropped our short set, near i would say about two months before we made the 108k in two months and then we also dropped performance shorts which was our new gym shorts and those sold like crazy so with that being said a new drop may help you depending on if it's a drop that's trendy if it's a drop that's in season 
and if it's a drop that provides enough value to the consumer. Another reason why we generated $108,000 in revenue is social proof for our brand was at its high because of all the work we've put in over the years of producing content, of simply doing the $1.80 strategy of going to comment on other people's posts, of posting those YouTube videos when we didn't want to. All of it paid off. As some of you know, we have over 500K followers on TikTok, which helped our social proof right there. We have now over 80K followers. At the time, we had around 50K followers on Instagram. So by other people seeing that, it should be like this, with them making a decision whether they want to interact with our brand or not. And having a bunch of other people support our brand is going to motivate others to also support our brand and know that it's not a scam. So build up that social proof for your brand through content and through other ways and things of that sort. Slow progress over no progress. Over the whole, over the past three years, the work we've been putting in for the first two years until we became a six-figure business is all now paying off. So put in the work. If you don't see the results now, it's for a bigger cause later. Lastly, what helped us generate $108,000 in two months is QQMA, positive mental attitude, quantity, doing whatever we did the best we could possibly do it, and aiming higher. That's the key right there. We were aiming for $100,000 in one month, which means we gained $54,000 in one month. We were aiming higher than where we got. So we ended up higher than, you know, where we would have if we were just aiming for 50K. Aim high. Think big, dream big, because it's possible. Push yourself. Nothing can resist a human's will that will stake its very existence on its purpose. It comes down to how bad you want it and how bad you're willing to implement those actions to success. Also, quality. We're putting out great quality content. We have our theme on our Instagram, TikTok page. Social proof was at its high. Quality was good when we sent out the merchandise. The only thing we lacked in is getting out the orders efficiently. So make sure you're prepared to make a lot of money with your clothing brand. As in you have the team members to help you out get out orders. You have the manufacturer shipping time down to a sign. Things of that sort. I hope this video helped you. Say Less Trent, co-founder Trent and Scott, check it out. Click those links in my description if you need one-on-one -on -one help with your brand. Direct message me on Instagram for payment plans. I appreciate you tuning in to another one of my videos. Let's go.